so today's video is about a really curious property of natural numbers. So if you, if you take a natural number, let's say 2, and elevate it to the fifth power, you get 32. And if you take 4 and elevate it to the fifth power, you get 1024. And if you get, for instance, if you have like 42 and elevate it to the fifth power, you get 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 1, 2, 3, 2. And so we start seeing a really interesting pattern here where the last digit of n to the fifth power is actually the same as the last digit of n. And so an interesting question we can ask ourselves is, is that if this, this result holds for every natural number n. And the answer to this question is yes, it holds. And that's, we are going, that's what we are going to prove next. And the way we are going to prove this is by induction. And in a proof by induction, we prove that a certain statement is true for a general number n by first proving that it is true for n equal 1 and then we assume that it's true for n and we prove that it's true for n plus 1. And so if we know that it's true for, for 1 and for n plus 1, we can just iterate over all natural numbers and prove that the statement is true for a general number n. And so if the pattern that we are seeing here uh, is actually true for every, for every natural number, it means that n to the fifth power and n have the same last digit. And so if we subtract the 2, n to the fifth power minus n, the result, the last digit of the result will be 0, which means that it's going to be, the, the, the result of the, subtra the subtraction is going to be divisible by 10. And so how can we prove these? We start, we are going to prove these by induction and we start by proving it for n equal 1. So in the case of n equal 1, 1 to the fifth power minus 1 is equal to 0. And so in this case it is obvious that the result is going to be divisible by 10. Now we assume that that for a general number n this is true and we need to prove for n plus 1. So for n plus 1 we have n plus 1 to the fifth power minus n plus 1 which is equal to n to the fifth power plus 5 and 4 power plus 10 to the power plus, plus 5 n plus 1 minus n plus 1 which is equal to the power minus n plus 10 and 2 plus 5 n n cube plus 1. So what we need to prove is that this number here is divisible by 10. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do it uh, term by term. So if you look at the first term here, this was our initial assumption. We assumed that the statement was true for n. So this is of course going to be divisible by 10. The second term here it's also pretty simple to see that it is going to be divisible by 10 because this is just uh, n cubed plus n squared is just a natural number and uh, if we are multiplying a natural number times 10 it's of course going to be divisible by 10. The third term here, however, it's a little bit more um, uh, difficult to see that this is going to be divisible by 10. But we have basically two um, options here. The first option is considering n is an even number. So if n is even, we can write it as 2 times a certain natural number k. And so if we rewrite this term here using these, we have 5 times 2k equals 2k cubed plus 1 and this here is 10k and so we have a natural number times 10 which of course is going to be divisible by 10. Now if n is 
odd n cubed is going to be odd as well but n cubed plus 1 is going to be an even number and so we can write it as 2 times k again where k is a natural number and so if we rewrite the expression uh, we have 5 times 2k times n which is equal to 10 times n times k which is again 10 times a certain natural number which is divisible by 10. So we prove that the statement was true for n plus 1 and we've completed our proof for a general number n. So there's another interesting fact that we could, that I wanted to point out before I end the video. Uh, all these calculations were made uh, using base 10 and the power that we are using was the fifth power. And so uh, an interesting question we can, we can ask ourselves is that if the result holds, for instance, if we, if we were using base 12 and the sixth power, or more generally, if it holds when the base is twice the power that we are using. I'll let you guys think about it and maybe we can talk about this on another video.